Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Greetings and salutations, and this is Tekvernaut here, and I finally am doing it. I'm finally playing RE8 Village, and yeah, I've been putting this game off for a long while for uh, two reasons. Two reasons. One, I'm not really fond of the first person Resident Evil style. Because, as much as I love RE7, the main thing that keeps me from replaying it as much as I would love to, is that it's in first person. I much prefer third person games. There are exceptions where I will accept that a game is first person, like Bi the Bioshock series and the Borderlands series and, you know, Overwatch 2 and Apex Legends. Like, I'm fine with that. I'm not against playing first person games. I just didn't like the way that... RE7 handled first person, and I didn't think this game was going to do better, so, played things safe, I waited for the third person DNA, or, <laughs> I'm about to say DNA, the third person DLC, and now I'm playing the game in third person, the way it should be, I'm just saying, this is the way you should be playing Resident Evil game, okay, it's my guy, the fact that 7 don't have a mode, don't have a mode like this, is criminal. To say the least. 
But yeah, I am finally doing it. It is, it's actually why I took down the Revelations videos. Because I decided to put off RE Revelations for a later Let's Play. Don't worry. It'll be here eventually for anybody who actually did want to watch it. But I decided to go with RE Village once I realized I could get it. And play the third person DLC. Okay. Because. Because. I feel like people would appreciate it more. It might bring in more viewers. People who already watch me might appreciate this game more. I personally am going in very skeptical because I've seen and heard that it's a lot more action oriented. And I've never played the original RE4. And I'm gonna I plan on playing RE4 Remake. Probably not when it comes out, but later down the road. So, uh, yeah. After my experiences with RE5 and RE6, it being more action-oriented kind of scared me off from playing it for a bit. But it was also the memes and simping surrounded by Lady D. Like, people just... People made me hate that lady so much. But now I'm at a point where I'm at peace with it. I don't hate her anymore. In fact, I find her kind of funny. Not, she doesn't threaten me at all. She's like, <laughs> she's goofy in a way, but yeah. I know I'm talking over a cutscene. I'll shut up. Mia. Oh God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No. What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna say this now, I know the entire plot of this game, and there are some inconsistencies, or not really inconsistencies, but like, problems that could have been avoided if characters acted a little smarter, but I, I, I get the reasoning, which is why I'm not gonna say, oh, it's, it's dumb, at least in this case, 
the problem I have with plot later is actually, um, it's not something that's going to ruin my enjoyment of the game, because I'm here just for gameplay, I already know what happens in the story, but I don't remember a lot of what happens in the gameplay, is what I'm getting at, but what I was going to say is, uh, the first thing in the story I don't like is... The fact that Chris won't even tell Ethan why he shot Mia. Now, if this is the first time you've ever watched a Let's Play this game, I'm I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to keep completely quiet. I know why he shot Mia. And I know if he told Ethan why he shot Mia, then all of this could have been avoided. But... Yeah. Not going to give more details on my opinion on that because it'll lead into spoiler territory. Okay. I kind of hate this or this like part right here. I really do cuz it's like it's so dark. That I actually got lost, which is why you saw a cut there. And I get why it's dark. It's supposed to be spooky. But they could have, like, turned down the fog just a tiny bit. So you can, like, make out more than two inches in front of you, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. We're probably not going to find anything yet because we haven't even got gotten a knife yet or a gun. And our game logic is usually if you don't start out with a gun, you ain't going to get anything until you got a weapon. I will say though. Uh, so far, I am about two and a half hours into the game. I've beaten the castle area. And so far, I gotta say, I was very wrong about my expectations for this game. Because I was expecting to not have fun with it. Because the... And I was expecting there to not feel any, like, horror. Because I've heard and seen more action-oriented parts of the game. But... Now that I'm actually playing it, I gotta say, there actually is a good sense of horror. Surprisingly. You rats. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's not good. Mate, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Um, okay, my exit's blocked. Where do I go? Okay, I guess I'm going back down. I didn't see anything out, any way out how, down here, but I guess I'll double check. Nothing, 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 still nothing. The fuck? Nothing, 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 nothing. There's nothing down here. How the fuck am I supposed to get out? Like, seriously. Sorry if you hear noise in the background, too. That's my fan and my heater. Or my fan is someone... Or someone else's fan in my heater. That's what I meant to say. Because, um... I have the heater on. Because somebody else left the fan on and it's cold in here. So, like... If you hear either one, I'm sorry about that. You shouldn't really hear the heater. It usually doesn't get pick, picked up because it's not loud. But the fan, even though it's halfway across the room, always finds a way to get picked up by my mic when it's on. Which is why I have to lower my mic volume a little too much in some videos. I, I try to not lower it to the point where it's like where you can't understand me, but it is a little too low in some videos because of that fan. And granted, I could have got up and turned the fan off, but 
Eh. I plan on doing that, but I'm going to do it after I do the commentaries for these next few videos. Cause, and I'm going to tell you why. I want to wait until I like do, do commentary for these next few videos. Because I don't know how much time I have alone to do it. And that's the whole reason I didn't get up and turn it off. Because I, I just wanted to rush in and do these. Not necessarily rush them. Obviously, if I mess up somewhere in the commentary, I will definitely re-record it. But I wanted to, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they're out. get them done. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, th I, the only regret I have about this is that I it's that the DLC didn't come out before last week. Because if it did, and I had the money for it, I would have gotten this and played it instead of Revelations for the l past week. So now the past week just has two Walking Dead videos again. I keep canceling Let's Plays, man. But here's the thing. I do plan to do Revelations in the future. So it's not canceled. It's, post it's postponed. I don't know if I'm going to do it for the next, next year around the same time. Or if I'm going to just do it casually at some random point in the year. But I think I'm going to make Revelations a part of Ronan Game Season 3. And I'm, all, I'm I'm thinking of pushing back The Walking Dead Season 2 for that. To be the first Let's Play of that season as well. Because I want to do Sonic Frontiers after The Walking Dead Season 1 concludes. So that's the current game plan. As it, as it were, is to um, finish The Walking Dead Season 1 and start Sonic Frontiers. And once the uh, once Sonic Frontiers and RE Village both end, that'll be the conclusion of Run On Game Season 2. That's just how it's going to be. And then, between seasons, I'll take a few months of a hiatus again. Like, that's what I do between... That's what I did between Season 1 and 2, and even though my highest between Season 1 and 2 wasn't meant to happen, I actually do think I should do that, because it'll keep me from uh, getting burnt out, if you know what I mean. Like, I definitely do think it was it, it worked out in the end that I had a hiatus between January and, I think it was April. What happened? Let me check, I actually have... The, I think I have the playlist pulled up, so let me check. Let me check, 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 check. I just want to check. Yep, I have it pulled up. Um, actually, no, it started all the way back in February. So I, oh wait, no, that wasn't when the high the hiatus was actually between like, I want to say October or September, in 2021, and February this year. Because I remember in February I posted the last video of a uh, RE2 remake to conclude Season 1. And then started uploading Sonic Rush Adventure. So yeah. I want to do another Crash game on my channel, but I don't really want to do the Insane Trilogy. I've played those games so many times that like... I don't know, it just... I'm not feeling it, you know? I love... The Insane Trilogy, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm not gonna have, like, the enthusiasm to commentate or react to it, you know, because I've played them so many times. It's the same reason I'm avoiding RE7, they just... honestly. And I say that, but I played RE2 Remake and Sonic Colors a bunch of times, not Sonic Colors Ultimate, but the original Sonic Colors, before I did those Let's Plays in Season 1. And I played a full pl let's. I played a full playthrough of Crash 4 before I did my Let's Play one. But the difference there is I have more to. Oh, okay. I need to shut up about that. Uh, guy, put down the gun. Oh, okay. He's not aiming it anymore. What's that noise?
Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? So I can spare. Take it! Take it! You're gonna give me this tiny ass pistol, but you're gonna hold that shotgun, that's fair. Uh-oh. R.I.P. To the shotgun toting motherfucker. He was the realest one there ever was. Alright, moving on. <laughs> I, I had to. I had to, fam. He's a character that's on screen for like 30 seconds. And then dies. You think I care that he dies? Wait, like, I don't care about him. Okay, okay, the scene is spooky, and I like that, but... It does give me a sense of horror when it happened, but... Jesus Christ. Him himself, he's just... What the hell is wrong? He's just on screen for 30 seconds. I, I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna pour one out for this one, because... I mean, yeah, he gave us a gun, but he was on screen for 30 seconds. He was just there to give us a gun. <laughs> If he had survived for maybe like another minute or two, maybe I would have cared. Oh, jeez. Um, sir, I do not like being pushed through walls, sir. I would like my fingers back, sir. Rude. That is so rude for you to bite someone's fingers off. My God. Have manners, my guy. Oh, these guys move like the hunters. They really do. You saw the way he like dashed sideways? They move like the hunters. And they move about the same speed as them too. I actually just noticed that. <laughs> and it's funny too because there's an enemy later in the game that I've noticed move almost exactly like zombies. Except they wield weapons. Interesting. This ain't the only series where I've noticed like... Enemies... This ain't the only game series or game in general where I've noticed enemies using similar AI to enemies in the past. Because, uh... Minecraft does it a lot. You know, the piglins and the pillagers have the exact same AI, except piglins can get distracted by gold. You know? Every variant of zombie has the same AI, except drowned who can swim. Every variant of skeleton has the same AI. You know, this ain't the only game that does that. I think another example would be, um, would be the Borderlands series. Because, uh, now, granted, these are the same enemies, and they do get changed up a bit as the series progresses, but I'm talking about the Psychos, of course. They do, they do, like, act very similar across three games. They do change over time, don't get me wrong. And they do introduce more unique ones as the series goes on, but, like, there's the, the basic psychos are more so what I'm talking about, not the, uh, you know. What are you doing with, okay, we gotta push this, we gotta push this. They're about to come in. No, 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 come on. We gotta push it. Here we go. Oh, crap. I don't think I got any other way out now. Is there any way out up here? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I thought I got grabbed for a second. Dude, these lichen, they got me scared, man. These lichen got me scared. They actually do scare me. I won't lie, they do. 
There's a few things in this game that scare me. Lady Dimitrescu is not one of them. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> I'm going to cloud on her so hard when we get to her. I'm telling you now. If I remember to anyway. Because when I was playing, I had a couple good laughs every time she tried to chase me. She does hit you. Well, that's not the problem, but it's she's so easy to lose that it's ridiculous. My Mr. X gives me more trouble. You step up your game, Lady B. Oh, more lichen. And they're in. Yep. Okay. My guy. You need to stop dashing sideways. You are not a hunter. You are never going to be a hunter. Okay, 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 okay. You're at least similar to a hunter. Is that what you want to hear? Like, jeez, my God. I've never seen someone attack me over so. Ain't even an insult. Like, jeez. I wasn't even insulting you. If anything, I was complimenting you because I was trying to say that you're your own thing. But, you know, you saw the jump on me all of a sudden. I'm like, my guy. My guy, what did I do? You even brought your homies in here and shit? Like, jeez. You're that mad? Yeah, let's got some healing items because we, we kind of need this shit. Okay. I do prefer the crafting system in this game over the crafting system in RE7 because the crafting system in RE7 was kind of kind of trash, honestly. Well, not necessarily trash. It just wasn't that great. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't that great either. Just double check it if I missed anything. Yeah, more like it are going to come out. I don't know what to do about this. You see, what I didn't know about this is that you're supposed to get low on health on the upcoming part to get your, the cutscene for them to disappear. But I didn't know that. So I'm about to, I'm going to be wasting pretty much all my heal, current healing items on this next part. Sorry if you hear that. My, my ear was itching pretty bad. Not bad as in, like, it's something to, like, take seriously, but it was, like, it's just itching more than usual, you know? But, yeah. Uh, it also took me a while before I was actually, actually at a good part to stop recording at an end of, end of a clip. So... A lot of this was literally in one go. A lot of the, this let not a lot of the let overall let's play, but like I want to say the first six or seven videos of this. I don't remember which number it is. I think it's six. I think it's six because I think I did a certain part separately. But the first, if I'm right, and it is six, the first seven parts were recorded within half a day but the last part of that was recorded separately so I think the first six of these videos are gonna be one one go like just one go one take <laughs> oh geez. okay that worked oh geez I got two of them nice Got two of these bitches. Sir, 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 it is rude to bite people in the neck. Oh my god, can you believe he just bit me in the neck? Becky, I can't, I can't, Becky. Like, oh my god, that is so rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> Lou does a Valley Girl voice way better than me. Mainly because. Lou's not binary and I'm a guy. 
So of course I'm gonna do worse at that, but you know. But that's just the way it is. <sighs> oh no no, get off here! Get off, buddy! You better back off! You better sit down! You better be humble! Wicked a weakness! You gotta see this! Way! Yeah, yeah! Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances, but that's a wisdom counterfeits and now I'm counting this. Parmesan where my accountant does a fact of down in this. Boose with my boo bay tastes like Kool-Aid for the analyst. Girl, I can buy your asty world with my pay stubs. Ooh, that girl, won't you sit in on my taste bloods? I get way too petty, won't you let me do the extras? Pull up on your block and break it down, we playing Tetris. AM to the PM, PM to the AM funk. I piss out your DM, you just gotta hate them, funk. If I quit, you know, I still ride Mercedes, funk. If I quit the season, I still ride Mercedes, funk. My last stroke just went viral. Right stroke, put the baby in a spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it on a high note. There's levels to it, you and I know. Bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch, sit down. Hold up, little bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch, sit down. Hold up, little bitch, be humble. Hold up. Bitch, sit down, hold up, little bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch, sit down, hold up, little bitch, be humble. Apologies for messing up on that one part, but I had to, man. I had to bring in the humble. The the personal meme has to return. At least it, I meant for it to be a meme when I originally did it. If you don't know, for people who never watched my old channel, which is probably almost everyone who's watching this video maybe with the exception of one or two people because I didn't get many views on my old channel I don't get many views here either but hopefully that changes in the future but <coughs> sorry that was a bit sketchy right now look like I got some drink for that but what I was gonna say is be hum uh, uh, I made hu the song humble a sort of like personal meme or running joke that I would do in my original let's play Avari Revelations on my old channel and then the running gag would return for my let's play of RE3 remake it was an RE exclusive joke and since I already brought up the song once back in my RE2 remake let's play I decided, you know what, it's going to be a running joke again. Let's not just make it a one-off. We need to bring back the running joke. So, this is the second time we're using it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. This is it. This is it, Elizabeth. I'm coming. I'll be the one with like it all around me. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. That's, that's actually a reference to Sanford and stuff, but the liking part was just my old, like, creative, like, thing, because, <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this motherfucker here, bitch, do you shave, like, my guy, you need to shave so bad, my, like, I don't even know how to roast him without, like, offending somebody. That's that's how bad he is. Like, I feel like I'm going to offend somebody if I actually roast this dude fully. Like, that's how, like, bad this dude looks. Not bad in a good way. Like, bad as in, like, ugh. You yeah. know? But yeah, let's get that off our leg. And I'm going to be ending off the video about here, so... Bye.